people now need to know how to code, don't they? Because that's what it's all about. You know, that's where all the jobs are. But I don't really know because I, I am just an old teacher. Yeah. I just do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> and until recently, I didn't know about coding at all. So I now know and I can now see that there is a point to it. I think it's made it more enjoyable because it just made it easier to learn because you could see what you're doing and you could test it and then if it doesn't work it's still a lot easier when you can go through and be like right this is why it physically hasn't worked. The ability to see whether it's working whether it's not working is really intuitive for them and if something's not working they want to try and get it to work. Something on a screen they can tick a box they can move on to the next task. This is much more intuitive to them as individuals because it's what they're used to in their daily lives. They've had this physical entity that they want to fix and they're determined to fix it to get it to work. Because they're transferable skills, because we're talking about perseverance and problem solving and debugging and the way that we've taught some of these concepts to the pupils is by talking about their everyday life and the importance of things like sequencing, like the order that you put the toothpaste on the toothbrush and then, you know, clean your teeth. You need to do it the right way around and the kind of the process I've been through is I've looked at spheros and thought, okay, what's the potential? Where can I go with this? One small thing can be applied to so many different curriculum areas. How can I use that engagement to do something something different? For us to achieve what we really want to achieve and to get that real added value is when students come to us saying, can we do this? Can we learn about this? You know, use these sensors and these new tools. And these are areas of learning that are really difficult to measure and how do you measure creativity? How do you me measure strength in problem solving? I can see that that's improving and that's increasing. That's when I will know that we've done our job and that Sphere has done its job. It's not just can our children code. That's not really what I'm looking for here. It's everything that comes alongside it.